and welcome to this short Candler video on volume calculation in Trimble Access. Today, we will see the different calculation methods and show how to calculate volume from two surfaces. Here we have our points from which we will create our two surfaces. Our first surface represents the design surface. Our second surface is our reality on the ground. Once our two surfaces are created, we go to the three bars menu and select Kobo and Compute Volume. As you can see, we have several methods available. The above and elevation method calculates the volume of a single surface above the determined elevation. Only the cut volume is calculated. The void volume method calculates the volume of material required to fill an area up to a specified elevation. The surface to elevation method calculates cut and fill volumes between a single surface and a specified elevation. When the surface is below the elevation, the fill will be calculated. Conversely, if the surface is above the elevation, a cut will be calculated. The stockpile depression method works with a single surface, which is treated as the final surface. The initial surface is defined from the points at the perimeter of the selected surface. When the surface is above the perimeter surface, the cut is calculated. Otherwise, the backfill is calculated. The surface area method performs an area calculation using a specified depth to calculate volume. The surface to surface method calculates cut and fill volumes between two surfaces, the initial surface, which is the starting surface before modification, and the final surface which is the design surface, the surface that we are trying to obtain. If the initial surface is above the final surface, a cut will be calculated. Conversely, if the initial surface is below the final surface, then a fill will be calculated. If required, enter the hall bulkage or shrinkage factor as a percentage. We can also leave these values at zero. A hall bulkage factor takes into account the expansion of the material as it's dug. The adjusted cut volume is the cut volume with the expansion factor applied. A shrinkage factor takes into account material compaction. The adjusted fill volume is the fill volume with the shrinkage factor applied to it. Once the required information is entered, simply press on Calculate and the information is displayed on the screen. It is possible to see the material required to fill and or to cut. In order to be able to create a report including the calculation, we go to the three bars menu, go to our job, choose export, and then choose volume computation report. Our report will be generated in a PDF format. This completes the video on volume calculation in Trimble Access. Thank you.